Tonight, COVID-19 testing on your own dime. New complaints about America's private insurance companies stepping back from promises to pay for your testing costs. ABC 27 investigator Katie Legron uncovers why and what you can do to fight back. The Rebound Tallahassee is sponsored by Perry and Young. At this urgent care center on Florida's west coast. The number of COVID tests has just skyrocketed. In fact, COVID testing has now become Dr. David Dean's number one request. This is just today? This is just two hours. While insurance plans have so far covered the $100 to $150 COVID-19 screening, a loophole could leave doctors and their patients footing the bill for future swabs. We're hearing that certain insurance companies may not end up paying for testing for certain people. And what does that mean to you and your patients? So it's another headache for one thing. Now I'm being told that the insurance company's not covering it? When did that happen? Um, it's a great question. Professor Sabrina Corlett of Georgetown University is an expert on private health insurance regulation. What has happened over time is I think they've realized that this could get very expensive very quickly if they're paying for testing for everybody and some in some cases weekly or monthly. While the Family's First Coronavirus Response Act passed by Congress in March requires insurance plans pay for testing, Coverage is only required when testing is deemed medically necessary. So what they've said is if you're sick and you go to a doctor and the doctor says, yes, let's get you tested, then we'll cover that. But if it's for a broad public health type of surveillance exercise, then the insurers have been saying we shouldn't have to cover that. In recent guidance issued by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid, Full coverage is required when a doctor determines COVID testing to be medically appropriate. A spokesperson from the industry's top trade association sent us this response. Defeating COVID-19 will require robust public-private partnerships, as well as coordinated and comprehensive public and occupational health strategies to meet our nation's health goals. Corlett says it's a potential problem that may require Congress to get back involved. We send out about 100 a day. Back at this urgent care center, Dr. Dean and his staff are just trying to keep up with the demand. Every single day we have 20 to 40 positive tests. Knowing he's doing his part during the pandemic, and he hopes private insurance companies continue to do its part. This is not just about testing those at highest risk anymore. Let's be fair to them and, and pay the cost for it. This only impacts people with private insurance who are not going through their county health departments for testing. If you have questions, contact your health insurance provider directly. And if necessary, ask your doctor to document that your COVID test was medically appropriate. Katie Legron, ABC 27, investigates. This is just one of the many stories that we're telling to help you and your family rebound from the pandemic. And you can find them all under the Rebound Tallahassee tab on our website, along with resources as you start to bounce back. You can also check them out on this section of the ABC 27 News app.